I've been sick for what feels like forever, and when you're sick, everything's hard. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to cook, you don't want to clean, you don't want to shower, you don't want to do work. Everything in life sucks. And nowadays, you gotta consider the possible long-term negative health effects, and I really didn't want to do either of those. I just wanted to fast forward my life two weeks and then go back to what I was doing. So every single day for the past 10 days, I've woken up at like 11 a.m., played video games and watched Netflix until I went to bed at like 3 a.m. And that's been my life. Well, I feel like escaping life isn't good, and regardless of being sick, I, I think I'm not the only one that does that. I think a lot of us get into the cycle of go to work, go home, watch TV, or play video games until you have to wake up and do it all over again. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about why I don't like doing that, even though I just did it, and how to get out of that funk when you eventually find yourself in it. I feel like a lot of people try to escape life because they don't like an aspect of their life. They, their work sucks, or they're not happy with how things are going, right? And instead of changing their life because you have the tools to change your own life and decide your own future, I feel like a lot of people get in the cycle of trying to escape their life through different various mediums. It could be reading books, it could be playing video games. I've gone through various periods of trying to escape life in my life for a lot of different various reasons. Lack of purpose, having no clue what I was doing with my life, not enjoying my life. And I think an escape from life is what I defaulted to. So instead of having to deal with the hard things in life, or having to face my problems and deal with the challenges that I was facing at the time, I just reverted into reading books and playing video games and watching TV and escaping to a different life. And I think that's largely why I love fantasy type of stuff. It's a completely different thing from life and you can just escape. Well, I think the key difference between escaping life and using those things as a hobby, because those aren't inherently bad things, I love all of those things and they all have their place, but I think your intention is the key difference between trying to escape your life and using those things as a hobby to add fulfillment and enjoyment to your life. So I'm not going on a crusade against video games and reading books and watching TV, so don't close out of this video yet, but I want you to consider why you're doing those things, and they could be com something completely different. Exercise can be an escape from life. When I had no purpose in life, when I couldn't find a purpose in my life, I started doing triathlon. That's originally why I got into triathlon. I had nothing better to do. I didn't know where my life was going. So to fill four hours of my day, I just started working out and going on incredibly long bike rides and running forever just to escape life. So we take these things that a lot of people consider negative like video games, but we use them for the same purpose as a lot of these things that we consider good, like exercise. So it really just comes down to your intention and why you're using these things that you're using. Working out can be bad. It can be an escape from life, you can do it too much, it can lead to a lot of bad things. Video games and reading and watching TV can be good. I play video games as a, largely a social construct now. A lot of my friends live in St. Louis, one of my best friends lives in Florida, we're definitely not hanging out, but playing video games together gives me an online platform to stay connected with these people. I play video games almost every single day with some of my best friends, and that's how we stay connected. So video games aren't inherently bad, they're not inherently good, and so are things like working out. Not bad, not good. It really depends on how you're using them. Are you using them to add fulfillment and enjoyment to your life? or using it to escape your life. And there's a couple things that I don't like about escaping life. The first one is that when you do, eventually everything starts to become hard. Right now, I don't wanna clean my kitchen. You don't see my kitchen, thank goodness. I don't point my camera in that direction for a reason, but it's, a, it's an absolute nightmare right now. And cleaning that is gonna suck. Doing that, something that I normally do every single day, just because I haven't done it for two weeks now, that's gonna be terrible to do. So over time, your comfort zone increases and your learning zone decreases. And when you're comfortable being comfortable, you're not comfortable doing hard things. So it's gonna start with you not wanting to go to class, not wanting to go to work, and it's eventually gonna to get to the point where you're not gonna to wanna to shower, you're not gonna to wanna to cook, you're not gonna to wanna to exercise, things that you normally do every single day. And that's just gonna perpetuate the cycle. When everything in life becomes hard, you're not gonna to wanna to do it. You're not gonna to wanna to break that cycle of starting to do hard things. 
Doing hard things leads to doing more hard things. When everything in life is easy, you're never going to want to do the hard things. And a lot of things in life that you should be doing are hard. And the second thing is sacrificing long-term, slow progression for short-term, virtual progression. We're all about instant gratification nowadays, so playing video games feels really good because it's about instant gratification. You're making achievements one after another, after another, after another. I can log into my video game and achieve something in the next five minutes and it feels good. But me escaping life, I wasn't making any of the real life progression, right? I didn't work on my side businesses last week. I didn't learn anything because I checked out of life. I didn't even make YouTube videos last week and I love making YouTube videos. Granted that was mostly because I just looked absolutely terrible and sounded even worse than I currently do. So that's a little different. But I didn't do any of those things. And those are things that I enjoy doing just because I sacrificed the long-term progression of those things because I wanted to check out of life. And I think the key to not doing those things is to have goals outside of your work. If all you do is have goals inside of work, you have nothing for fulfillment outside of your life. So it's really easy to come home from work and watch TV, to play video games, to read books, to escape life into your hobbies. Well, those hobbies, A, should be your goals outside of work, but you should have other goals outside of work. Your relationship goals with your significant others or your friends and family. Personal, professional, and financial development goals. And did I use those three examples because that's the whole theme of this YouTube channel? Yes. And I'm not saying that you have to be on all the time. Enjoy your hobbies. Take an escape from life every once in a while but we have to come back to our normal. So I have three different methods that I use to get out of my funk when I eventually escape life that regardless of why you're doing it, I think you could find it beneficial as well. The first one is work on small victories. So I was telling you about the absolute nightmare of my kitchen over there. I'm on the tail end of sickness. I still don't feel great, but it's significantly better than last week. So I really still don't want to do anything but I can start small. Today I'm gonna to do the dishes, tomorrow I'm gonna to wipe down the counters. So building in those small victories is going to lead to you wanting to do more things. So we're gonna to start to do hard things, and eventually those hard things are gonna get easier. Number two is set an alarm. For the past 10 days I have not set an alarm because I haven't had any obligations because I'm on sick time. So today I set my alarm for 7.30, which is vastly different than 11 a.m., and I'm not having a good time this morning but it's gonna be a small step to me starting to wake up at 6 a.m. when I go back to work next week. So slow progression of setting an alarm and getting back into a routine. And really it's just about setting a schedule to make that alarm worth it. If I'm setting an alarm at 7.30 just to play video games, why would I get up at 7.30? I'm just gonna play video games all day anyway. 11 or 7.30, it doesn't matter. So you have to wake up for a purpose. That alarm has to be getting you back on a schedule. So at 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna script out a YouTube video that you're watching right now, and 8, 8.30, I'm gonna film that YouTube video. After that, I'm gonna do some cleaning, I'm gonna check into my online class and front load my morning. I'm waking up for a purpose. It's not just 7.30, I'm up to be up. I have no intention of being up to be up. I could just wake up at 11. So there has to be an intention behind you setting an alarm. And really, setting that schedule is just building you back a routine. My normal routine is waking up at 6, going to the gym, eating very good, cooking three times a day, going to work, coming back from work and working on my side businesses and personal projects and hanging out with friends. So that schedule is completely different from what I've been doing. So the goal to creating a routine or getting back into a routine really starts with that schedule. So those are three methods that I use to get back into the swing of things, but that's assuming that you have a purpose. If you don't have a purpose, if you don't have goals in life, there's no reason for you to get back into life. You're just gonna escape life all over again. So this isn't a stopgap for you not having a purpose. You still have to find your purpose in life. And without that purpose, you're just going to go through a constant cycle of getting home after work and escaping life and not wanting to do anything, right? So my challenge to you is if you're in a funk right now, figure out a purpose. If you don't know why you're escaping life, figure out why you're escaping life. Figure out what you don't like about your life and let's work on changing that. 
let's find you a purpose in life. And if you already have a purpose in life, and this is just a temporary thing, that's okay. You can, you don't have to be on all the time, right? So use these tools eventually when you have to get back in the swing of things. Use them, and then hopefully this helps. If you're interested in personal, professional, or financial development, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down there. I'm putting out two to three videos every single week, unless I'm sick and I take a week off, geared towards giving you tools to succeed in and after college. I'm proud of you, I love you, and I'll see you next time.